I'm just going to be getting ready and I would like to invite you to come to get ready with me. So here goes. I'm using CeraVe's Foaming Facial Cleanser because I feel it is gentle on my very sensitive skin. I'm using it with my Clarisonic because the Clarisonic tool helps to remove all dead um, skin cells and old makeup very thoroughly from your skin and it's also very gentle. Now I'm patting dry my skin because I feel that it, if you rub it then it gets very dry and flaky. Next I'm going to tone my skin using this toner from Neutrogena which is for sensitive skin. I'm going to use a cotton square to dab it on all over the place. <laughs> and now to moisturize, I'm going to be using CeraVe's Moisturizing Lotion because as I said before, my skin is sensitive and I need to use a really, really bland formula. Now, I'm going to pat it on because it absorbs better this way. For the scent, I'm using Glam Princess by Vera Wang. I like to apply it right after my shower. And now I'm going to accessorize earrings and my watch. Now I'm going to deep puff my eyes using um, an eye cream. I feel like this helps to waken up your eyes a little bit more and to conceal any puffiness. I really like this one from Dior. Now a must for your beauty routine is some sunscreen. Make sure to distribute it um, evenly all over your face. Rub it in very well. Next, we're going to hydrate the lips. I'm using this one by EOS. And now to make sure your, your makeup is shine free, I'm going to add some Scandinavia Shine Control Spray. And now to cover up all of my, or disguise my imperfections, I'm adding some Beauty Balm all over my face. And to hide my dark circles, I'm going to be using some concealer. I'm using it with my finger because I feel like it applies better when it's warm. Cover up any, any imperfections and then buff. Now using the Eclipse palette by Coastal Scents, I'm going to contour around my face. I'm using a darker color for the hollows of my cheeks and around my face as well as my nose to give some definition. Now I'm going to be using a lighter color and my skin tone to add some highlights everywhere. I like to use my finger because I feel the application is a lot faster and smoother. Don't forget your forehead too. Now do the same to both sides of your face. Highlight on the apples of your cheeks as well girls. Notice how the light hits this area naturally and now I'm just enhancing the effect. Now to seal everything in place I'm going to use this translucent powder by CoverGirl. I feel that when you use a stippling brush to apply it on it applies a lot more smoothly and is not as heavy. Now I'm going to use this dark um, blush and a blush brush to uh, apply the blush um, along the areas that I have contoured earlier with the darker color. And do the same along the sides of your face as well. And now I'm using this eyeshadow by um, The Face Shop. It's a light pink and I'm going to use this as my highlight because it complements my blush that I was using prior to this step. Now I'm going to define my eyebrows. I'm going to be using this um, brow pencil by Bobbi Brown. And I like it because it's hard and it doesn't deposit color very thickly. And so I'm going to also use this brush spoolie to comb out my eyebrows and fill, it, fill them in. And that distributes the color better. Now I'm going to be using this um, um, pencil corrector to highlight under my eyebrow bone. And now I'm going to be using this primer because I feel that when you use primer the eyeshadow colors are a lot truer and they stand out much more than if you just use it alone on your lid. 
Now I'm going to be using Coastal Scents Mirage Palette and this the 217 um, blush, um, blush brush, <laughs> um, eyeshadow brush from MAC. And I'm going to use the lighter color um, towards the tear duct and under the brow bone. And now the medium color, which is like a, um, a toppy gray, I'm going to use on the, along the, the other end of my eyes to deepen the effect. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush to kind of blend everything together. And now I'm going to be using this um, um, blush, this brush that is for your um, contouring um, around your eye. It's a good brush, <laughs> and you're gonna use that to use the darkest color onto the the crease brush. You're gonna use that. <laughs> That's the word to make the darker color stand out. And now I'm gonna go back to my Eclipse palette and use this detail brush from Coastal Scents. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes I like how it helps it to stand out a lot more now I'm going to go back to the palette and using an angled brush I'm going to be using the darkest color that I applied and I'm going to line my eyes with this And I'm going to redefine my um, silver color that I used prior because um, it got a little bit muddy when I was applying the darker colors. Now I'm using the light shade of blue to underline the inner corners of my eyes. And now using this liquid liner that's very close in proximity to the blue of the darkest shade that I used, I'm going to line my upper lashes, keeping it very close to the lash line. And just swing it out just a little bit at the end. Remember to use short strokes when you're applying your eyeliner because it's easier for you to create a straight line. Now I'm going to be using this cream shadow from Cyzone um, to line my waterline. Be very gentle. Now it's time for mascara. I'm using this one by Dior um, and I like how it really um, gives them volume. To finish off the look, I'm going to be using this nude lipstick from Dior. Um, I really like it because um, this tone because it really unifies the look by not being too heavy, too heavy but just giving a hint of color to the lip. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of gloss from MAC that's about the same shade and you're done with your makeup so now it's time for the hair um, I like to use some pecky oil that came in one of my ipsy bags um, it gives my hair lots of shine and it makes it more manageable so I'm gonna just distribute the product throughout my hair like this and then I'm going to brush it out to make sure that it um, goes all the way through all my strands there we go now it's time to put on the outfit I'm gonna be wearing this polka dot shirt and I'm gonna keep the chill away by adding on my um, cardi which is nice and warm and I'm gonna finish off the look by using this scarf that I made myself and gray pants don't forget some boots guys hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and so I hope that you guys um, get ready with me again another time I hope that you learned any some useful tips and anything that might help you get ready for your stay as well so kisses mwah, a hug and until next time don't forget to to hit like and to subscribe to my my Facebook my Twitter um, also my Instagram and my and then also subscribe to my channel. Bye. And also to subscribe to my blog. Kisses.